what is up Scorpios uh sorry I'm a few days late I'm a little bit behind but I'm gonna do bonus videos this week so don't worry um thank you for watching a Stella K video this is gonna be your mid-month check-in for October 2020 also um don't forget to subscribe like and share the video if you feel like this could resonate with one of your partners or somebody that you know also, um, remember this is for any, uh, Scorpio sun, moon rising, and this isn't gonna, this is a general reading, so it can go towards love or business or family life. Um, just remember to take it and kind of fill it in as your story, because I, this is a general reading. Um, I'm, I know I'm newer on YouTube. I'm an intuitive empath. I've been doing this for over 20 years in my community, and I'm just starting to kind of share it online right now. Mostly due to the virus, but I feel like universe kind of led me to this. So I've been having a really great time. And also thank you for all the emails I got about um, my health issues. That's when I was offline for a couple weeks. I really appreciate the people that sent me those emails uh, to get well and that they were praying for me. That was an amazing thing to feel warmth from the universe like that. I've never had that from strangers. All right, we got your first couple cards out. Okay, so we got... Your uh, recent past is going to be the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the uh, your current feelings, King of Cups. All right. Other people's opinions or other people's influence over this relationship. Remember, I, did, I do make up my own spreads. Um, other people's influences is the Devil card. Then we have blockages as the Tower. And strength is your solution. And we're going to shuffle a little bit more for your outcome and for your uh, overall energy. I didn't slice them and dice them, but when I get flippers, I got to take them because that spirit kind of pushing them out of my deck and out of my hands. All right, so your overall energy is the Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands is kind of like um, messages of kind of like love, sexual nature. Um, also can be uh, sometimes... It, it can be like a lusty thing going on, like maybe lusty messages going back and forth. And this could be like maybe like your overall energy is just kind of like a newer relationship. So you're feeling like that lust going on for another person because um, this is your overall energy. All right. And let's get to your uh, outcome is the world. All right. We got one, two, three, four major arcanas here. This is going to be quite an end of September for you guys. Hold on one second. I need to pause this. I'm so sorry about having to pause that, but I saw a spider and I'm total bug freak. Even though I'm a Buddhist and I can't kill them, I have to actually put it in a cup and put it outside because that's just a part of my religion. So I can't help myself. Okay. So we're going to go through this a little bit quicker than we normally do. Um, I know that my videos have been quite long between 20 and 30 minutes, and I know not everybody has that time. So I'm actually just going to lay out the cards like I just did, and then we'll, we're going to clarify, and I will, instead of explaining it twice, I'll explain it all at once. All right, I think that is a little bit simpler for you guys to understand. Don't forget to subscribe, too. I'm a newbie, and I really enjoy this. This, is, this has been a great time something to add to my personal readings and the parties I do. All right, let's slice them and dice them and see what's going on with Scorpios. All right, so your past energy right here. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so when we're talking about the Eight of Cups, this is walking away, all right? In the future, uh, recent past, you did not want to walk away from something, okay? And you know what we say at Stella K? We F the past. We don't look at it, all right? You didn't walk away from something. Let's see what it was you weren't walking away from. Okay, recent energy is the King of Cups. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Definitely have um, a lot of love going on or somebody has a lot of love going on for you. This can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. And uh, I'm feeling a lot of love going on in this video from all of these major arcanas. I feel like this is definitely a very intense relationship. All right, so we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. All right, Tower, that's number five, Major Arcana, and the High Priestess. All right, that's number six, Major Arcana for you guys. All right, and that's on top of the King of Cups. So we have the Two of Wands in reverse. We're definitely not so sure on the options and the decisions we want to make right now. 
but you're going to have a tower moment and the high priestess on top of that. So there is going to be, and remember, tower moments aren't always a bad thing, but I feel like the, with this love connection, possibly with a, um, a water sign, you really have to watch out for secrets and intuition. And I feel like this tower moment is going to come because of secrets. Like when you ever have the high priestess, it can be intuition, but it can also mean like a lot of secrets are going on between the two of you or one or the other of you in a relationship are keeping secrets or family members. Like whatever tower moment comes down, I feel like almost like there is within this connection you have with this person or a situation in your life, you are definitely um, going to face secrets, either yours coming out or someone else's coming out. There's definitely secrets going on here. That's what I'm feeling. All right, and the current feelings of others is the, is the devil. That can be Capricorn energy, but it also can be addictions, blockages, um, even online addictions, things that just should not be in your life, okay? Or it could just be a Capricorn, but I really feel like in this instance, the secrets, like it's almost like if somebody has an addiction to um, kind of fibbing and telling um, lies. So I really want you to watch out for that. Because this is in what other people are going through and how they're affecting you. So they're definitely keeping a lot of secrets from you. And let's see why. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and Justice. That's Major Arcana number seven. Okay, when we're looking at the Page of Pentacles, that is definitely just like, you know, messages going back and forth of somebody wanting stability. Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold, not knowing what's going on. And then justice. When we're thinking about justice, this could be a Libra you're involved with that could be giving you some issues, but it could also just be like justice, like these secrets, like need to be told. I'm seeing so many secrets right now. That's what I just, I keep hearing it and I keep feeling it. Like you have secrets or they have secrets. Also remember that these energies are interchangeable, but I'm definitely feeling like it's, Whatever is going on in your life right now, because I don't know if this is a love situation or possibly a family and friends situation. Just remember, you know, fill it in where you can. This is a general read. Um, justice needs to be made and people around you see this. People around you actually know about these secrets. They know what the lies are and they are looking to you or to your partner right now to come clean. And I feel like there's going to be pressure applied in one way or another because with this Five of Pentacles, people will actually leave another person out in the cold until they come out with the truth so that justice occurs. That's what I'm feeling right now. I feel like there's so many secrets. And I don't feel like it's just one or it's one huge secret. It's a little bit crazy. All right, your blockages is your tower moment. All right, that's another major arcana. You're going to be having a tower moment, and this is tower number two. So whatever these secrets are, this is going to have a huge effect on your life. So if you're keeping secrets, it's time to tell the truth. If you know another person is keeping secrets, it's time to let the truth come out or confront them on it so it doesn't cause any more issues in your life because I feel like it's been like a burden on you for a really long time and you've suspected it, or you're holding it in. Like, just remember, these energies are interchangeable, and let's see what's going on with that. All right, two of swords, eight of swords, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, when we're talking about the two of swords, this woman, see how she has her arms crossed and a blindfold on? This is you kind of, um, your blockage is, you're crossing your heart, you're not letting things in, and you're blindfolded right now, but you want to be blindfolded or your person does. So you really, these secrets need to be told. They need to be let out. Um, and if you know your your person is lying, you need to be like, listen, I, I need to know everything about you. If we're going to go forward in a relationship, whether it be a love relationship, a friendship, a family relationship, the truth has to come out. Then the eight of swords, okay, once again, blindfolded. Somebody isn't seeing the truth here. This is coming out like crazy smooth. It, it's all about secrets. And then the Ace of Pentacles. If you can do that, you will definitely get a huge um, offer of stability and it will stabilize your blockages. 
but you you have to come clean and the other person has to come clean whoever is holding all these secrets i feel like it's affecting your relationship and i almost feel like you don't talk to this person much because of these secrets and i feel like you both know what it is almost like you you feel your intuition because you have the high priestess here on top of this king of cups so it's obviously a person that you very much care about but it's you're you kind of like push it under the rug just to make life go smoothly but in your heart and in your soul it's hurting you so it's kind of got to stop the solution to that is being strong and being strong is being you know outspoken about it and finally being like i can't keep these secrets you can't keep secrets i know what's going on here like i need the truth nothing but the truth and just the truth like i feel like there's this truth that you need to say or hear that's going to clear what you're going through in your life right now and it's going to fix not only like your love relationship because i feel like it has affected your love relationship but i feel like it's almost like the spirit saying branched out like it's branched out like like the roots of a very old tree it just keeps touching different people that you know and it, it's hurting a lot of people and you know this because either they love you so much or they are looking at this other person and it's hurting that other person. So we need to watch out for that. And let's see what's going on here. All right. Ace of Swords in reverse. That's clarity. But it's in reverse. That can be air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's, you know, it, th there's no clarity here. All right. And then we have the King of Wands uh, uh, also in reverse. That means there's no passion. There's no stability. There's no leadership. It's kind of like walking in the dark. Like all these cards on here that are blindfolded, you're just kind of walking in the dark here. And then the star, but it's also in the reverse, you know? So your hope and inspiration for this is gone and this is in your solutions category. So basically what universe is telling you is you need the strength to turn all these reverse cards in the upward, okay? Oh, sorry. Forgot to turn my phone off. Um, you need to find clarity. You need your king of wands and the leadership to be in the upright. And you definitely need star card, a number of uh, major arcana to be in the upright. You need, you need to have that hope and inspiration, but there's a, these secrets that are keeping you kind of pounded down into the ground. All right. Your outcome, major arcana number nine, okay, is the world. Or no, sorry, it would still be eight because I counted them from the beginning. This is a cycle finishing. This is, I think, a cycle of secrets finishing for you and your person. It's keeping you guys apart. So if you're not being completely honest with somebody or have family issues or are going through something like this, definitely it's time to come clean and wash your soul. Like I, I'm actually going to pull chakra cards for you guys because I feel like you need a clearing of the chakra. Um... I'm in, I'm in Michigan, but if you guys have any local, like, Reiki healers, I would really suggest going to one after you cleanse your secrets from, you know, your mind and you tell people things you may have lied about or confront the person that you know has been lying to you about things. This is just all I can think about is that there's, there's, and it's not like one little lie. It's not like someone cheating. Like, I feel like it's something huge. Like something huge needs to be let go of to m move forward in your life and to clear your karma and this or that your person of interest, your partner or a family member. Like I feel like if this karma isn't let loose, it's going to like bring chaos on you and the people around you, you know, so really be careful with that. So the outcome is the world. We definitely need to close out that cycle so our karma changes. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here. If we do that, look at, this is, all right, now this is major arcana number nine, but this is a good one. This is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. We want it in the upright because it will spin in your favor. All right, this is going to be your outcome, but you have to let these secrets go or confront someone about secrets and correct any damage it may have done. Then we have the chariot in the reverse. All right, this isn't moving forward. So we have to be careful about how we do it about how you do it when it comes to this specific um, kind of telling of secrets. I'm sorry I'm so stuck on secrets, 
but I just feel like this is the biggest problem in your life, and I feel like it's been going on for years um, with you or this other person. And maybe they don't just do it with you. They do it with a lot of people. But things can't move forward with this person or yourself until these secrets are cleansed. And then we have the hydro font, and it's in the reverse, all right? This is, these are all major arcana. So this is number 11 major arcana. There's not that many in the deck. So you guys have kind of pulled them all about the secret situation. All right, so what I really need you guys to do this, this month is if you're holding secrets that have hurt people, um, really go through and make this wheel of fortune. I feel like this is spirit telling you to spin in the right way. And this is why it's in the upright because it's affecting you moving forward. And it's also affecting either your marriage or your job or something very dear to you in your life with this hydro font in the reverse, which I rarely get this. Uh, this is a really serious reading or the person that you're thinking about right now or watching this for or it could just be a family member, definitely you might want to um, encourage them to be more honest about who they are and what they are and to um, not fib so much because this is, I've never had a reading like this before uh, it, where I, I feel like people are getting so damaged by these secrets and I don't, I feel like it just kind of, like I said, um, spirit just put this vision in my mind like it's like tree roots that just branch out and they touch it touches so many people so just really watch out for that and I feel like it is within your power to either help this other person or yourself if you have something that you really need to release to let your conscious finally be clear and I feel like it's like you or this other person and I, I feel like it's kind of both of you. I hate when I give bad readings right like this. I know I don't get many, many subscribers when I don't give the happy love stuff, but I can't help it. I have to give what I have to give. What spirit tells me means you needed to hear this. Okay. All right. This is your chakra card. Fourth chakra, unconditional love. I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear or rejection. I give without expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. When I am loving to others, I am helping bring out the innate love within them. So I also feel uplifted, worthy, and honest and cared for. I love myself the way I am, not the way I was or could be. I extend this love to others. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I, by how I love and respect myself. I think this card goes perfect with what you guys are going through because you have to be honest and to uplift others in your life, to really bring out the good in your children and your family and your significant other and your friends, and they have to do the same in return. And if you know a person that is possibly keeping secrets and hurting other people, it's going to be your job this month to kind of um, help them finally be brave enough to speak the truth and be kind enough to the point where they will listen to you and know that you have wisdom. This, I've never had so many major arcanas in reverse in a reading. It's kind of crazy. So, um... All right, so we're also going to do he said, she said readings this week and how do they feel about you readings. I'm sorry that this was kind of, you know, a bummer reading, but sometimes, you know, especially when Mercury's in retrograde, that can bring back a lot of like things from the past that need to be corrected and um, Saturn's in Capricorn, or no, Saturn I think is in Libra, right? Or no, Scorpio right now. So it would be in your sign, Scorpio. So that can also be a time where the universe is kind of going to push you towards, you know, truth and fixing any problems that you have within your relationship or your family life. Because I almost feel like this extends out to a lot of people. I can't help but feeling that because I just got the vision of the tree branches and the roots just kind of going out. And I saw a person at each end of each root and there was a lot of roots. 
So definitely, uh, you know, think about that and try to just fix it. Because believe me, people are forgiving. You wouldn't believe how forgiving people can be when you come to them and say, listen, I lied about something. Or you being how you couldn't believe how kind you can be when a person admits they lie to you. So I, I just feel like that's what needs to be done at the end of uh, October for you guys. And also, happy birthday. It's your birthday season. Don't forget to have a great Halloween. Um, I know this was a bummer reader, but don't forget to, you know, subscribe, like, and share. And I love you guys. And I will see you a couple times this week for your bonus reads. And I love you. Bye.